As you know, children, tomorrow is Greendale Sports Day. And I'm planning... Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, are we good to do the sack race, Mr Pringle? Yes, Sarah. And lots of other races. But we've got to practice. I've been practising loads, Mr Pringle. Great, Bill. Then you can help the others. Morning, Reverend. Oh, good morning, Pat. Morning, Jess. Meow. Yeah. You look busy. It's a banner for Sports Day, Pat. It looks lovely, Reverend. It's a shame about the weather forecast, though. Oh? Yes, there's a possibility of storms tonight. Oh, dear. Let's hope they miss Greendale. Well, I must be off. Bye, Reverend. Bye, Pat. Bye, Jess. Meow. Come on, Jess. Meow. Come on, Bill. Don't you want to start training? Well, yeah. I suppose so. But, well, I want to do it on my own. But we're a team. I know. I just want to be the winner. And there'll be a captain for each one. Can I be captain of my team, Mr Pringle? I am the oldest. Well, all right, Bill. In my team, I want Sarah, Julian and Mira. They're the fastest runners, except for me. Oh. Well, that's not quite fair, Bill. Let's have Sarah, Katie and Tom with you. The rest of you will be in the other team. That'll give you all a good chance. We'll be the best team anyway. I'll go and get the rest of the equipment. Bill, can you get everyone started on the sack race while I'm gone? Ah, uh, yes, Mr Pringle. Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> That's just silly. you got to do it properly. We won't win otherwise. Right. We need to practice and practice until we win. First, we'll do running on the spot. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tom. Run faster than that. I'm doing my best. You've got to do it better. If we're going to win... This time, we're going to run from here to that tree. It's girls against boys. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> we won! We won! But Tom hasn't finished! What? Tom! <sighs> You've got longer legs than I have. If you want to be in my team, you've got to be quicker. <sighs> Oh, my Reverend, it looks lovely. Oh, thank you, Mrs Goggins. Ah. Hello, Mrs Goggins. Hello, Reverend. Bye, Mrs Goggins. <laughs> Bye, Reverend. Bye. Hello, Pat. Bye, Pat. Gracious me. Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear, Pat. What a terrible storm. Mm -hmm. 
The bunting's gone, my banner's gone. Everything's blown away. Don't worry, Reverend. They must be around here somewhere. We'll get everyone to help. We'll find it all, won't we, Jess? Bless you, Pat. Well done, everyone. Now we're ready to begin. Our team's going to be the best. That'll depend, Bill, on who runs the fastest. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Greendale Sports Day. Hooray! Now for our first event, the sack race. Ready, steady, go! Go on, go for it! Go on, kids, go on! <laughs> Mind out, Sarah. I can catch Charlie. Watch out, Charlie! Charlie, you made me lose. Never mind, Bill. I could win it for our team. Remember, teams, you have to run all the way to the finish without dropping the ball. OK. Ready. Steady, go! Come on, Sarah! we got to catch you in a mirror! Hang on, Bill! We've got to do it together! Oh. Hurry up, Julian! They'll catch us! Be careful! I mean, we won. <laughs> well done, Sarah. Dumb. We're a team. Let's finish together.
time for the custard race. Yay! Now, you've each to pass your bowl of custard in turn to the next runner and try not to spill the custard. On your marks, get set, go! You can do it! The doctor's on the other team, Arthur. Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Uh, Bayek! Oh, oh, uh, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops! <sighs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, as we've run out of custard, I declare the Greendale Custard Race a dead heat. You are all winners. Hooray! Congratulations to all the children for taking part in Sports Day. The winning team is Charlie's team. Hooray! Sorry, Bill. It doesn't matter, Tom. It were brilliant. And our final prize is for the Greendale Sports Hero of the Year. It goes to someone who's a real team player. Bill Thompson. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well done, Bill. Oh, I'm so proud. Well, Bill, how does it feel to be a sports hero? Fantastic! But it wasn't just me. It was all of us. Yeah! Right, right, Bill. Sometimes being part of a team is more important than winning. Right, Jess? Jess? Morning, Charlie. Hey. Oh. Morning, Ted. Ah, uh, morning, Pup. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, um, uh, hang on. Oh, well, thanks, Pup. <laughs> Nearly had a red uniform there, Pat. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Charlie. Hi. Look, Tom, I've got a new scientific calculator. Yeah. It can add up and 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 take away and do really long sums and 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 everything. It'll be really useful. Wow. Can I have a go? Look at me, you two! Hooray! Jolly good! Hooray! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> I only just learned how to do it. My turn now. It's no good. I can't do it. My dad says learning to do new things is a matter of willpower. Mind over matter. I don't know. Hey! Look what I found. Oh, a lamp. It's a bit dirty. Mind the genie doesn't come out. What? 
<laughs> she means it might be a magic lamp. You know, you know, like, like in Aladdin, when you rub it, a genie comes out and grants you three wishes. Really? I, I wish... I wish I could ride the skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. See if it worked. I will. <laughs> Wait. Hey. Oh. Ooh. I did it! I did it! Well done, Tom! Yeah! Well done! I wasn't thinking about staying on the skateboard at all. It was the magic lamp. It granted your wish. No, it couldn't have. There's no such thing as magic lamps or wishes. It's all a matter of willpower. You don't need a lamp. Um, anyone seen my calculator? Hi, everyone. Watch me, Pat. I've just learned how to skateboard. That's terrific, Tom. He made a wish on this. I think it's a magic lamp. <laughs> really? Would you like to have a go? Go, go on, on, Pat. Pat. Go on. <laughs> well, I... Uh... All right, then. Brilliant. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, Jess. <sighs> Tom, Katie, huh? where are you? Coming, Mum. Bye, Pat. Bye, Pat. See you later. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Pat. <sighs> now, where's my calculator? Oh, there you are. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh! Mom! Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. Are you all right, Mum? Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, I think I've sprained my ankle. Ah! Uh. Pat! Pat! <gasps> oh! Oh, dear. We'd better phone Dr Gilbertson. Oh! Thank you, Pat. Oh, dear. If I don't get those plums picked, the wasps will have them. There. That should feel better. You need to rest it for a day or two. Oh, dear. What about my plums? I'd hate to see them go to waste. Can't we do it, Mum? Yeah. I can help, too. Uh, I'm afraid not, darlings, no. Going up ladders is for grown-ups. Um... Well, um, can we uh, can we help with something else? The best way for you to help is to leave her in peace for a while. Yes, and I've got to get back to work. Come on, everyone. Aww. Bye, Julia. Bye, Dr Gilbertson. Cheerio. I wish Mum had let us pick the plums. I know. Let's make another wish on the magic lamp to pick all the plums for Mum. There's no such thing as magic lamps. Oh. <sighs> Can you help me look for my calculator? Oh. <coughs> Tell you what. I'll do a proper scientific experiment to prove you don't need magic lamps. I'll use the power of my thinking to help me find my calculator. I will find my calculator. Mm. Oh. I'm focusing my mind. Well. Mm. Oh. Mm. Meow. 
Meow. Got it. <sighs> oh, no. Meow. It's just a sweet wrapper. There it is. Your calculator. Oh, ha. Thanks. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> Told you I'd find it. You didn't. Jess did. Well, anyway, I still don't believe in magic. I know. Let's make another wish. And then we'll know if the lamp's magic or not, won't we? Well... <laughs> OK. Come on, then. What are you going to wish for? Something fun. Why not wish to get Mum's plums picked? We'll do that after. OK. I wish something funny would happen. <laughs> Told you. Oh, well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> funny would happen. We didn't mean... We didn't think it would really work. It was... it was an accident. We didn't mean any harm. What? Help get it off, will you? Uh, oh, oh, dear. Oh. 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 oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ted. We, we, we can't budge it. I wish Pat was here. Really does work. Oh. Ah, there you are, Jess. I've been looking all over for you. Are you all right, Ted? It, it, it stop that. Hang on. I'll get it off. Oh, oh. oh my egg. Oh. 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 oh, goodness me. Oh. I wish the bucket would come off Ted's head. Oh. I wish. Tom, you must have used all the wishes up. <sighs> I think we'd better ring Dr. Gilbertson. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. I'd soon have you out of there, Ted. Oh, thank you, Doctor. <laughs> On your hands and knees, I think, Ted. Head down a bit, please. Thank you. The soap's slippery. So, with a little persuasion... Oh. Gently... There. Oh. oh, that's better. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Pat. It's my nose that was the worst bit. We're sorry, Ted. It's our fault. We found a lamp. It was a magic lamp. We made three wishes and they all came true. I didn't think they would, but they did. We're very, very sorry, Ted. We could have wished for something really useful and we wasted them all. Real lamps don't grant wishes. That's just in stories. All you did was try to help. That's right. It wasn't your fault. Wishes do come true, but you have to make them come true yourself. If you had another wish, what would it be? Pick the plums! 
<laughs> that's... that's 322 plums. 323... Mum! We made a wish and we're making it come true. All it takes is a little effort and a little help from your friends. Oh, you are good. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Pat. Ooh. Ooh, my egg. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Pat. Look at this. It's a dandelion, Arthur. A nasty weed is what it is, Pat. And it's got no right to be here, making the green look untidy. Hmm. There are rather a lot of them, I suppose. <laughs> rather a lot. The green's covered in them. Something's got to be done. Well, we can't pull them all up ourselves. There are too many. We'll just have to think of another way. Mum, can you play a game with us? Oh, sorry, Julian, love. I'm too busy at the moment. You know what Saturdays are like? <laughs> My dad's always busy on Saturdays too. Cleaning the house, doing the shopping. Morning, all. Oh, hello, Pat. You'll play a game with us, won't you, Dad? I'm sorry, Julian. I've got too much to do. <laughs> you know what Saturdays are like. Yeah, we know. All the grown-ups are busy. Tell you what, why don't you help us? Uh... That way, everyone would get the jobs done quicker. And you never know, you might even have some fun. We, we could get the others to join in, I suppose. Like a sort of club, do you mean? Yes, and and we could we could give it a name. We could call it the Saturday Club. Yeah. Hi, Mira. Can you meet us at the treehouse right away? So, has everyone got their jobs? Yes. I'm going to pick up all the rubbish from the station platform. Me and Lucy are going to pick all of P.C. Selby's rudder beads. We're going to sweep up the leaves in the school playground. And we're going to weed the garden for your mum. OK, Saturday Club, let's get started. Yes! Yeah! What's this? Not started yet. We didn't think there'd be quite as many weeds, Dad. There's more weeds than flowers. I know what you need. A drink and a snack before you start. You can't do a big job like this on an empty stomach. Yeah! <laughs> Feeling ready to start work now? Yeah, yes, thanks, thanks Mum. Clifton. Come on, then. Those weeds won't pull themselves up, you know.
happened here? Where have all the weeds gone, Dad? Loads of the flowers have gone too! Oh, Pat! Meow. This is awful! Oh. All my lovely flowers! Oh. Whoever would do such a thing? I don't know, love. What have you got there, Jess? <gasps> Look! Whoa! Oh. Come on, Dad. The platform's never been so tidy. All right, all right. I'm sure you've done a very good job. <gasps> oh, no! Someone's messed it all up. Oh, dear. I'm ever so sorry, Mira. We've picked all the beads for you. There's loads. Come and look. See? Not one single bean left on the plants. Most impressive, girls. You've done a grand job. Hang on. There aren't any beans left in the wheelbarrow either. It certainly looks like sheep wool. But how on earth did it get here? I don't know, Dad. But it's a clue, isn't it? And the flowers are all flattened. That's another clue. Let's see if we can find any more. I think we should talk to PC Selby. Meow. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a problem on our hands. A number of plants have gone from Pat and Sarah's garden. The litter bin at the station has been overturned. And my runner beans have disappeared without trace. Oh, what a horrible thing to do. That's terrible. Now, it's my opinion that someone is determined to spoil the children's efforts to be helpful. No. Oh, that's not nice. A shame. However, according to Lucy and Sarah, there's one job that has not yet been spoiled. Katie and Tom in the school playground. Exactly. I therefore intend to wait in the playground until this person arrives and then catch him red-handed. I'll come with you, Arthur. Thank you, Ajay. Your support is much appreciated. Oh, that's oh, very brave. Good luck. Good, good luck. luck. Be careful, Ajay. PC Selby, wait. There's something you should know. What is it, Mira? It's probably nothing, Mr Clifton, but I found something on the station platform. Mm. More sheep wool. I found some too, Mr Clifton. Look! Mm. So, somebody found a tuft of wool in each place. Our garden was trampled. It all points to one thing. <laughs> Nay, it might be sheep's wool, but... But it couldn't have been my sheep. Are you sure? There's no way they can get out. Even if the gate is open. Look. Ah, I see. A cattle grid. A what? It's a way to stop farm animals from wandering, Julian. They've all crossed the grid because the feet had slipped through the bars. Like this. Maybe they got out another way. Through a hole in the hedge. Or a broken fence. Not on my farm, Julian. There's absolutely no way it could have been my sheep. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Elf? <coughs> well, I never... Hey, where do you think you are going? Come back here! There. Nobody will be able to spot us in here. It's weird. Why would anyone want to go round the village undoing all the jobs we've done? That's what we intend to find out, Tom. So off you go. This is no place for children. It's our school playground. Sorry, Katie, but this is serious police business. 
Right then, AJ. Pass the binoculars. AJ? Oh! <sighs> right, let's get down to the village and round up those sheep. Can I have a look now, Arthur? Arthur! I think I'll close my eyes as well. Just for a minute. There's one, Dad! Uh, and another! Hello, you three. What's going on? We've found the answer to our mystery, Sarah. Uh, sheep? That's right. They trampled your flowers, knocked over the litter bin and ate all of PC Selby's beans. And now they're going back where they belong. Come on, boys. This is the lot, Mr Thompson. Right, let's get them in the trailer before they cause any more trouble. Come on. Don't be too hard on them, Mr Thompson. I think they're sorry for what they did. Uh, it's a shame they can't do something to make up for it. Maybe they can, Charlie. What about all those dandelions on the green? We could take uh, the sheep down there and they could eat them all up. <laughs> and give the grass a trim while they're at it. Hey, that's a grand idea. Come on, you what? lot, it's dinner time. Hey, what? Hey, Jay, wake up. Huh? Someone's coming. Hey, Jay. Hello, Arthur. Hey, Jay. <laughs> oh. Everything all right? Don't worry, Arthur. I'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh, oh yes. Uh, uh. We're just, uh Practising our moves for when our mysterious visitor arrives. Well, you're in luck. He's here. Or should I say they're here? Sheep? Sheep? You don't have to arrest them, though, PC Selby. They're going to make up for what they've done. <laughs> yeah, by, by eating all the dandelions off the green. <laughs> Perhaps you boys should let them join the Saturday Club. <laughs> After all, they are being very helpful.